Okay, here are the basics of HTML, short and sweet. There are three things that go into an HTML page, and we're going to talk about them. Basically, you have tags, which are known as elements, you have attribute value pairs, and you have content, and there's really nothing else there. So a tag looks something like this. It's got a bracket, some stuff, and then it closes the bracket. And in fact, that stuff has to be one word. It's a keyword, so we'll just write keyword. Uh, I'd like this to be a little bit bigger, so I'll make it bigger. So that would be a tag, right? There's no such tag as keyword, but they include things like P for paragraph, H1 for heading one, H, H2 for heading two, uh, BR for line break, uh, B for bold, and many, many others. There's about 80 or 90 tags you want to be concerned with. Basically, the keyword must be followed by a closing tag of the same. So it would go something like this, keyword. So this P must be followed by a closing P. This H1 must be followed by a closing H1. So H2, by closing H2, you get the idea. And then you have a couple unusual tags like BR, which are self-closing. So they have the closing slash within them. They don't have a closing tag. Uh, so the B would be like this. And then that's a tag, right? So open, close, and whenever you open, it's a good idea to close. Sometimes tags go inside other tags. So for example, this bold would need to be inside a paragraph because it can't just stand out by its own. So I close that paragraph, right? I will indent to make it a little more obvious. And then you put the word you want bold right there. So this will actually show up as bold inside a paragraph. So those are tags. Now the next thing that matters is content. So in this case, yo is content because it occur, it's within these tags. Notice it's not inside the brackets of the tags. It's between the open B and the close B. That makes it content. So if it's not inside angle brackets, this is a less than, this is a greater than. If it's not inside those brackets, it's content. So if I go in here in heading one and put welcome to my world, that's content. If I go into heading two and put hello there, even if it's in quotes, that's still content. So finally, that leaves us one other thing. So we've got tags, we've got content, and then we have attribute value pairs. An attribute value pair always takes this form. It is always the attribute, the equal sign, and the value in quotes. Uh, we don't care about spaces in HTML, so it's good to put it like that. And a simple example is say you have something that's a certain size, it might be width equals 45 pixels. That's an example of an attribute value pair. But these attribute value pairs must occur within tags. So for example, if we were talking about an image, the image tag looks like this by itself. And so we put that attribute value pair inside the image tag. And it looks like this. And we can add other attribute value pairs. For example, style equals, and in quotes, we put the style. So color, colon, black, semicolon. So this is an attribute, and this is a value. This is an attribute, and this is a value. Another one, which you'd always see with an image, for example, is SRC equals my picture dot jpg and so that would be the value of the picture that's going to be used for this image so everything on the page must be one of those three things a tag is the actual keyword in the brackets however we also refer to them as elements so for example if you say something's missing from your body element it means look in your body tag so tags, the word tag and the word element are interchangeable, even though they're slightly different. Um, but just when I say element, I mean tag and vice versa. The content are the things that are inside those tags and the attribute value pair gives more information about a tag and is within the opening tag. And finally, to further confuse you, uh, notice that, that each tag has an open and closing bracket. So in this case with these paragraphs, you have four brackets even though it's one tag, the tag opens and closes. So for example, this is the closing bracket of the closing paragraph tag. This is the opening bracket of the opening paragraph tag. This is the closing bracket of the opening paragraph tag. You've got to get a hold of this. Watch the video as long or as many times as you need to understand. Sorry, watch this as many times as you need to to understand.